Welcome to Shooting Stances. You gotta have a strong platform for shooting. And so today we're going over the top three most popular shooting stances. I recommend going through all three so you can find out which one you prefer. The first one is the isosceles stance. Now you paid attention in trigonometry, right? An isosceles triangle is one with two sides of equal length. The first isosceles triangle will be in your legs. Stand feet shoulder width apart and pointing at the target. Slightly further than shoulder width is okay too, whatever is more comfortable for you. The second isosceles triangle will be in your arms. Punch them straight out and fully extended. I don't lock them, but leave a little give to absorb recoil. Another secret about how to spot gun newbies is that they lean back when shooting. There's going to be some recoil, so lean into it and bend your knees for better recoil management. Let's take a look from the side. The isosceles stance is easy to remember. You're straight to the target and your body acts as a turret for easy movement between targets. Some pros of the isosceles stance are that it's an easier and more natural stance since you're facing square up against the target. Turning between targets is easy. It doesn't matter what eye dominance you are. You get more protection if you're facing body armor since you're facing directly towards the target. A con is that it's harder to be consistent with your arms and matching up sights to your eyes. The second stance we're going over is called the weaver stance. Start off with the isosceles stance. Step a little forward on the leg of your non-dominant side. For most, it's going to be the left foot if you're right-handed. Remember, nose over toes. Now take your non-dominant hand or support hand and bend that arm a little. For me, it's my left hand. Now you can employ a push-pull grip where the dominant hand pushes forward while the support hand pulls back. Don't get too hung up about how much percentage is pulling or pushing, as long as you can hold your handgun securely. Some pros of the weaver stance are that you are now a smaller target since you're at an angle. However, if you're wearing body armor, your side is usually not as well covered. Recoil is a little easier to handle with the push-pull method, and it's closer to a fighting stance if you want to balance yourself. Cons include having a little harder time rotating the one side, the left for me in this case, and also having a harder time matching up your dominant eye with the gun sights. But don't worry, we'll cover this in a coming section. Lastly is the Modified Weaver or Chapman Stance. Start with the Weaver Stance and fully lock out your dominant arm. Some people, like me, prefer to put their cheek against their bicep as if you were using a rifle stock. Pros of the Chapman Stance are that you now have a set length every time since your arm is locked out, which makes the stance very, very repeatable. You also have even better recoil management since your arm is straight. And if you're cross-dominant, again, don't worry, we'll go over this in depth coming up, it'll be easier to get your left eye behind the sights if you're right-handed. Cons include a slightly harder time rotating to one side, and it might strain your neck muscles if you maintain a cheek weld for a long period of time. And before I forget, when you aren't on target, you can be in what is called a low ready position, which is simply lowering your gun a little while ready to re-engage or check your surroundings. That does it for gun stances. Remember, try out all three and see which one fits you better. Hey guys, Eric from PewPew Pew Tactical again. Hope you enjoyed that little snippet from my beginner handgun course. If you want to see more educational content like this, let me know in the comments below. And for details on that course, check out the link in the description.